So using reproject higher, we're going to add some eyeballs onto the top of this guy's head. So the first thing we got to do is pull out a little bit extra geometry. Um, and the way that we work in ZBrush is that each subdivision while you're on the level does an edit above. It's not automatically going up and down the hierarchy of subdivisions. So when you move this, it didn't automatically move the high, high res. You see, once you step up, it'll, it'll move things around. And when you come back down, your, your big, big transformations have, have uh, been lost. Um, so if, if we don't ever leave the high res or the, the middle res here, whatever we're working on, um, none of that stuff will, will uh, transform the higher birds. But since we're, right now we're going to add in some detail with some geometry that doesn't really it isn't really supporting it. Um, where I pulled out a chunk of the, the forehead to make these eyeballs and uh, a nose, like a little brow shape. Um, my low poly geometry did not accommodate that. So we're kind of making a big mess. You can see the eyeball has got a pretty solid amount of, uh, of faceting. And it's not really something you can really work with. So no matter how much I try, I'll never get this much detail. I've got these little creases on the, the chin that I put in. Um, using the same tool, you see the performance is completely different. So uh, we can use some little tricks to, to not actually have to go retopologize it, but to be able to make this crease here, make the, the eyebrow, sorry, the, the eyelid fold um, a little bit more consistent. See how jaggy that ends up being. Uh, hey, Elijah. You've been in my YouTube, sir. Kind of annoying. Anyway, so the actual model right now, no matter how much I smooth, no matter how much I rework things. God damn it, Elijah. Oh, the joys of being on the internet. Uh, I won't be able to get these details in the same, the same level of polish as the, the lower face. Um, so basically, at this point, we can noodle around a little bit more, uh, add some details to kind of landmark. So you can see when I do reproject that these these parts will stay pretty much identical to what they are right now. This guy's looking great. So basically, yeah, you just step down to the bottom. Um, we'll take these part, the geometry we have here, from the current eyebrow. We're going to move some verts around. Um, trying to stay on the same plane they're already on, but not worrying too much about it. Um, you can see I'm just kind of redistributing the geometry that's already there. Uh, and the idea here is that we're going to just take this and basically get use this as our new low poly. Um, so we'll get a little bit more density where the eyeball was and where that upper brow is. Uh, the more we, we work with it, the cleaner we can get it. Just smooth a little bit will go a long ways. Now you see if I step up right now from this level, it'll do the deformation on the higher res. It'll move the nose and the eyes and compress them. Uh, same with this nose. You can see it made a little spear nose. Um, but instead of doing that, what we can do is not step up, make our moves, and then just hit reproject higher subdivision uh, in the subtool palette. And it'll take a minute, but when we're done, we should have the same subdivisions, the same uh, cleanliness of this geometry here on the shapes that we had previously. And you'll see when I smooth out what, what was there already, that's actually projected in uh, some messy detail from before. So if I smooth it out and then redraw them, you can see that's a pretty clean line just by a little bit of smudging and moving some stuff around. So you don't always have to go and build new topology when you muck around with uh, adding new shapes to your models. Um, it's a pretty, pretty handy little tool. Uh, definitely works a lot more often on, on environment work where uh, you don't need a really consistent density. Uh, yeah, so you can see me sh shuffle back and forth. I'll shuffle back and forth a little bit for you. You can see zip from the current ding from the current uh, model back to the old one. You can just see the, the quality quality difference. Being able to make these sharp lines would never have happened before. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty handy tool. Um, definitely upgrades your ability to stay inside a ZBrush a little bit longer. 
Um, so one other thing, other thing we can use this for is really destructive. There's some really destructive uh, tools like the crumple tool. You can see this is just absolutely making a mess of my topology. It's a complete tragedy. It actually makes me a little sad to do it and to say that, hey, you could use this. Um, there are various tools that'll do that. Snake hook probably being the worst of them. And uh, whatever you basically you use snake snake hook, you're on your own. It's like breaking your own ankles, jumping off a roof. Um, but like the elastic brush, things like this, you can you can use these sort of tools that are really messing up your geometry on the high res, and do the exact same thing. We'll just mess it all up, uh, and then we'll step down to a level where the geometry was pretty sane. Uh, we can reproportion it reproportion it like we did with the eyes if you want. Um, but then we just hit reproject, and when we reproject, the upper level will take the detail, like the overall shape, the the, the modeled shape, um, and project it into the topology from the low res. It's going a little space-time continuum there. So there's our mess. And I think I messed up my undos and redos. Shit. But, yeah, so this... We should be able to... Here. I guess I'll just reproject it. And we wait. Progress bars are so fun, right guys? Right guys? I know you agree. And now we've got that same sort of uh, performance. You can use that, I mean, basically making rocks and things. Crumple actually looks nice. Uh, but that ends up being the end. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Joe Pickup with so much monsters.com.